Hi everyone, this is Lucy from Lucy in the Kitchen. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have a very special recipe. I'm making a custard made with breadfruit. Behind me, there is a tree of breadfruit. Here in Puerto Rico, they grow wild, very tall, very big. You do have to have the space to have one of these trees. But if you are fortunate, it is said that you will never get hungry and so is your family. So please join me in my kitchen to make this wonderful and delicious recipe, a custard made with breadfruit. I begin by preheating the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I peel this beautiful breadfruit, which my neighbor Migdalia left in my balcony last night. It is so nice to have a good relationship with the neighbors. For me, they are the closest family we have. From the entire breadfruit, I will only use for this recipe about half of it. The rest I can prepare in tostones or boiled in water and even making stuffed balls as we do with the potatoes. Right now I'm making sure I remove the center of the breadfruit which looks like a sponge and I'm cutting it in small chunks so it's faster for it to cook. I rinse it once and then fill up the pot with water to cover the breadfruit and cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's really tender. Then drain it and mash it as you do with potatoes. And then let it cool. In a very small pot, I will be making the caramel for the custard with two cups of granulated sugar and one quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I place the pot on the stove at medium-low temperature. When making a caramel, don't leave the pot unattended. Stir frequently so it can brown evenly. At midpoint, you will notice that the sugar will become solid and hard then it will start melting as it gets brown. When it melts completely and turns brown and bubbly, it is time to retire from the stove. You can use an eight or nine inch baking mold, but I will be using four separate molds as I want to give one to my neighbor and another to my daughter. Each mold holds about two cups of mixture. Also, I will be using a big square baking pan under the small ones because this recipe requires a merry bath. Very carefully, I covered the bottom of each mold with caramel while it was still boiling and spread to the edges. If there is too much caramel in the bottom of the pan, just empty the excess back into the pot. In the cup of my electric blender, I will mix one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and four eggs. Blend these ingredients first for about one minute. And then I add the mashed breadfruit puree, which I blend until my heart decides it is mixed enough. Or maybe for three minutes. At this moment, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. It doesn't cost you anything and you will help me to grow my channel. Also, if you like this video and you have watched it to the end, give me a like. I will appreciate that. I filled each mold to about one quarter of an inch to the edge. And while I'm preparing the molds, I'm having four cups of water boiling on my stove. I'm placing everything inside the oven and then I pour about four cups of boiling water into the big pan. This is called Baño de Maria or Mary's Bath. This will help with the moisture 
and the coaster would not crack while baking. Bake at 350 degrees for one hour. Once out of the oven, you must place them to cool and then place them inside the refrigerator for about two hours or until they are completely cold before you mold them into a serving dish. I dedicate this video to my late sister Leticia who died very young of ovarian cancer. She would share this dish during our family reunions. This one is for you, Lizzie. I miss you.